We begin with this. A Nigerian man accused of ripping off our state to the tune of $350,000 is now behind bars in New York. His crime is linked to the massive $650 million unemployment fraud we first reported on last year. And tonight, Q13 News reporter Jennifer Lee dives into the criminal complaint and the allegations of how the system was cheated. From Seattle firefighters to employees at Microsoft, the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Western District of Washington started receiving notices last April that fraudulent claims had been filed in the names of people who were actively employed. Federal authorities say these cases can be difficult to solve. The uh, perpetrators uh, take steps to conceal their identities. Uh, a lot of times they're overseas, uh, moving money around in different accounts. But on Friday at JFK Airport in New York, authorities arrested Abademi Rufai, who now faces a wire fraud charge. The 42-year-old is accused of a scheme to steal over $350,000 in unemployment benefits from Washington State. So the fact that we're able to catch this person is, is a, a great step for us. And, and uh, we're not going to stop with him. We're also going to be looking uh, to try to find more. The FBI says Rufai is a citizen of Nigeria and used the stolen identities of more than 100 people in Washington state to file illegal claims for pandemic-related unemployment benefits. The complaint also accuses Rufai of filing fraudulent claims in several other states, including Hawaii and Montana. Much of the evidence was found in the suspect's email inbox, according to the court documents. The investigating special agent says Google disregards periods and email addresses and alleges the suspect took advantage of that feature and submitted multiple fraudulent claims from a single Google email account without ESD detecting it. According to the complaint, Google was ordered to disclose the account's recovery SMS number, which turned out to be the suspect's. In January, a search warrant was obtained for the suspect's email account where evidence of fraud was allegedly discovered. Acting Commissioner Cami Feek of the Employment Security Department says, quote, I want to thank our partners in law enforcement for their continued efforts to hold criminals accountable for their attacks on our unemployment insurance system. Federal law enforcement and our partners, we are not uh, giving up on this and we're going to try to recover some of this funding and uh, bring the, those responsible to justice. Jennifer Lee, Q13 News. Rufai's first appearance in court was on Saturday. He's scheduled back on Wednesday. Uh, next steps will include his extradition here to Western Washington, where the case is being prosecuted. ESD says it has recovered more than half of the $650 million that's stolen from our state.